the the plan is to go play in college. Of course, still hoping for this se this season and getting more offers and scholarships. Hopefully, but I'm not not set on a place yet. So, what's the recruitment process been like for you then? Uh, it's been pretty good. Um, I I have two offers from Louisiana College and East Texas Baptist. Um, but it, it's been pretty subtle getting contacted from a couple of people on you know Twitter and everything. But it, it's going pretty good. Hopefully, it keeps up a little bit. And with coronavirus like it's been, how is the kind of the kind of perfect recruitment process? Mm -hmm. I mean, we had another kid say, you know, we just weren't talking to you. Yeah, us. it's it's different because of course you can't go and talk like most of the time you get called into the coach's office at school and and stuff. But um, you know, we can't talk face to face, so it, it's kind of different. They can't see you in person. And yeah, I hope it, I hope just the corona goes away and we're all safe and we get the recruiting done. So, what kind of quarterback are you? Can you talk about like what's your style? What kind of what? How do you lead your team? How are you? What what's your signal calling like? Uh, I'm. I've gotten better over the years. I've gotten louder, knowing like knowing my receivers, knowing how they react to things and. You know, being on their good side is a good thing, um, and of course they're all they're all nice and stuff to me. So it, it just goes mutual, good friends and and getting good with each other. Friendswood has a phenomenal football program, mm -hmm. and it's a really cool place. Um, for those who don't know what Friendswood is like and what the community of Friendswood is like, can you talk about both of those? Before? Yeah, so Friendswood is is kind of like a small district. There's only one school. Uh, inside of it, and it, it's kind of, it's a it's like a homey feel. So I, I I feel very welcomed, and I'm sure everyone else does too. But it's it's just it's kind of a place where everyone can just go and relax, but also have fun. And it's just a great place. Yeah. Um, and can you talk about what it's like for the culture of friends with football? I mean, it's just kind of a different atmosphere when you go to the games. So yeah. From behind the scenes. It's it's kind of crazy because. You know, as like you're growing up and you're young, you're you're wanting to go to the football games with all your friends and everything. And the stands are always packed. All the parents come in. You know, when I was young, I'd always have to park blocks over just to get in. And yeah, it, it's it's really fun. And what's it like to be the quarterback of Friends of Football? <laughs> it's crazy, especially coming in after Tyler Page, which was a big part of our team. It's kind of mind blowing, to be honest. It's 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 amazing. So what's this 2020 friends with team look like? Uh, pretty good, I think. Our, our offense is very solid, and me and my receivers have been practicing, have been getting our timing down, and it's going to be good. And what do you want Luke Gurdon's legacy to be at Friends with once you go on to that next step? I've always said I wanted to be known as generous. I want, it, I want, I want that word to be in replace of my name when I leave. So that's what I want.